Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures in Pop Culture. Yeah! My name's Steven. My name is Urkel. Oh, we got Ste Oh, that's a classic combo right there. Yeah. I am glad I got named first and they were like, we're gonna do last names. And then they discovered how much they love Family Matters. Yeah. And they knew before the show was on how much they were gonna love Steven Urkel. Did you know that Ra Ralphie May just died? I did. Do you, know what he, do you know what he named his kids? No. It was his son he named like August, June, May. Because that's funny. His his daughter was the same thing, like April, March. Yeah, April, April, May, June. Something like that. That's know. funny. That's clever. Yeah. Uh, he was funny. I was. They're like, not horrible names either. No, no they, they like kind of work, you know. Yeah. yeah. You can. I saw a commentator on a ABC football named Booger McFadden. No. His first name was B O O G E R. That's a real name. I swear to you. Boy. Yeah. Get a little off track again. I'm going to reel it in right now. <laughs> gonna... arr, arr, arr. That was good. That Thank was you. really good. Thank that you. was like Jim Carrey, rubber face ass. Boy, that Jim Carrey, Norm Macdonald interview. That was something, huh? <laughs> wow. Bringing it back. Bringing cool. it back. If you guys want to watch some gold. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was good. Comic books. Comic books. That's what we're doing. Now, in other episodes, we've mentioned a few comic books here or there, but this is our first comic book themed video that's crazy in the store i think we easily have well over five thousand comic books that's crazy we've never done them isn't it i know wow. yeah and right now we probably have 20 or so to go through so without further ado get to your pile jason first we have sister armageddon debut issue um the thing about our comic book collection is we should read more uh in the future i plan to read more when people i tell people how many comics we have and they ask me details about comics the ruse is dissolved rather quickly. It is, yeah, because yes. we don't really know too much. Yeah. I, I do want to say one thing about this. I love these type of comic books so much because these come from, like, one-off presses. Oh, sure. Uh, like, this, the press isn't even, this was from 1994, but the press is, I guess, this little symbol up there. Because usually comic books come from, like, Dark Horse, Marvel, anything mm -hmm. like that. But, yeah. Killer Nurse, or none, that's pretty sweet. Do you hate DC? There's no mention of DC there. Detective Comics. We have Punisher War Journals. I think this was a big deal. Yeah. Um, Punisher's one I think I would really enjoy. Punisher is a great comic. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you've read some. Oh, yeah. Have, yeah. Um, but I tell you what I really love is the ads. Lord. And this, that's not even a particular great one. Man, I love comic Glorious. Book ads. Glorious. Cloak and Dagger. Um, is this the one you have a bunch of... Uh, Look at that. Double zap your zits. This is just <laughs> going to turn into that. That's a sweet cover, though. Hey, man, double zap your zits. Double zap your zits. Yeah, I don't know anything about uh, Cloak and Dagger. Oh, oh, that's a sweet Wolverine cover. It's like he's fighting himself. That looks like he's fighting himself. Mm -hmm. This one has a bad cover on it, so I can't look at the sweet ad. Look at that. That's sweet. That is pretty cool. Oh, I bought some of these um, Marvel Legacy handbooks, and I think it just goes down like characters and just like let you know maybe a way of catching up it would be a good thing to read through yeah. i never will but Definitely. i love having them show the people just like that a lot of a lot of words a lot of that's pretty cool i think these are really neat yeah for sure it's a, it's a nice thing to have say we get really heavy into comics like actually reading them yeah i didn't know you picked this one though. yeah it was a dollar it was, this was one of those things everybody bought because they you know it was like oh Superman's dead. So there's a lot of these floating around. Oh, yeah. Um, there's It's still super neat. That was a big deal when it happened. Oh, it was huge, yeah. Uh, um, and, but then it just turned into, like, something like six different Superman's offshoot, and, like, Superman came back. I don't know the details, but it was obviously, like, a money they, grab. They were able to market it in such a way that, like, I guess it was the first time Superman had died. It was such a huge deal. Yeah. And people thought that, like, oh, is he not going to come back? Yeah. He's been around forever. But that man, I remember like everybody bought like bought that comic. Oh yeah, you would go in and like I remember going into the mall and the guy being like, "Yes, we have that." <laughs> the the trade paperback is what everybody is what we bought. Yeah, where it like combines twelve issues into mm -hmm. one. Yep, mm -hmm. that was that was a neat little story. Uh, the saga of the swamp thing, swamp thing. I think this is the um, like a novelization. I don't think this is like that really famous. Um, More. Yeah, Alan, Alan, Alan Moore one. I think this is like a one-off movie one. So, And I love these. Oh, that's awesome. Look oh. at that cover. Yeah. You know where I think our Indian figure might have come from is this Tonto set. And this is actually old. This is 60 cents. 
So it's not super old, but you know, it's from the 80s. 1982. 1982. Yeah. Very neat. Love those things. Oh, we got Christmas with the superheroes. Awesome. This is thick too. That will be fun to flip through. Oh yeah. Next up we have Marvel Holiday Special. Um, man, this guy had a lot of good stuff. And it was kind of just like, I bought 20. But that cover is so cool because it opens up. It's like one big cover. How do I do this? Like that, right? Sweet. Isn't that neat? It is neat. I bet this is a fun read. Yeah, I bet it's fun too. Yeah. Uh, next up we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, the novelization of the second movie. Yeah. What do you call it when it's a comic book -ization? Oh, man, look at that ad on the back, though. Oh, man, it's a hard game. I, w I don't know if that has a title or not. Because mm. novelist, I don't know if it's the same thing. or. Oh, this is a good one. Ultimate Mort Warriors Workout Comic. That's oh, fun. Man, that's, that's awesome. Really fun. This is like a half ad for yeah, video. We got to pop that yeah, open. Yeah, pop it open. Because it's another thick, thick one. Yeah. Oh, oh man, okay. that's sweet. So it is just a comic. It is just a comic. I was really hoping that it would be like a... It would actually show you like workout moves and stuff. You yeah. Know? But still cool. Very cool. Definitely cool. What year is that? Probably 90s, right? Yeah. Not that it's important. Yeah, I can't see off the bat. Oh, 1991. 91? Mm -hmm. The Warriors' heyday. Yeah. Man, you talked about an interesting guy to look up what he did with his career. Ultimate Warrior. Change, change his name to Warrior. Oof. Got inducted into the... WWE Hall of Fame died the next day. Yeah, now that's crazy. That is crazy. Ooh. Wow. That, plus, we have uh, Police Academy comics. Um, I would love to find the entire run of these. Oh, that would be great. That Police Academy cartoon. Those yeah. toys were so sweet. I would love to find those too. Mm -hmm. We've seen them. Um, I get the Pop Culture Exchange, and they're they're asking a reasonable price for them. But it'd be, it's one of those things I would like to find in the wild. Yeah. Especially loose. I would like to yeah. find them loose. Yeah. There's a few lines that I would. Be excited about finding him loose, but Police Academy is definitely one of them. For sure. Getting into my pile. Web of Spider-Man. Ooh. Not much to say about that one. We got X-Men the movie. I remember being super excited for that movie. Special edition that came exclusively through to Toys R Us. Yeah. Remember piling in the car to go see that movie? I think oh, yeah. Rick Crotty drove us in the Suburban. Yeah. And that was fun. That was cool. Uh, Sovereign 7. Oh, man. The ad on the back is great. Joe's Apartment. <laughs> it's for Joe's Apartment. People like that movie. There's people... No, you know what? I had a roommate who really liked that movie. I'm not basing it on anything. It had a little bit of a cult Did it? Okay. Yeah. Cloak and Dagger. Why did we get Cloak and Dagger? I, I believe you picked these up. Did I? I, just, I don't remember. Did I like the covers? Yeah, I don't know. Huh. It's one of those I don't on. remember why I did it. Yeah. From the early 80s. No, 1985. Great year. Here I, I think, was born. I think some... Oh, yeah. That is a good year. This is Marvel Age. So the, the Marvel Ages are actually a magazine. They're oh, the yeah. same. I like those. They're ones. the same size as a comic book. A lot of um, words. Oh yeah, they're that. they're very very oh, wordy. It's hard to read. I tried reading one, and it's like your eyes get tired. Yeah. This one again is from 1985. 35 cents back in the day. Nice. I mean, comic books. Are, I mean, they really are for kids nowadays. They're collected more by adults, mm -hmm. but you know that price point is definitely for. For children. What does a comic book go for these days? Like a new one. Mm, it's like over two bucks. Is it? Yeah, a lot of the times. Um, again, that's pretty cheap though. That's really. No. 1970s handbook. I'm really glad you picked these up because they're so they're so cool. Yeah, they are neat. Now I remember oh, having yeah. some of these growing up. I'm hoping we still have those somewhere in the yeah, closets. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah. Uh, but this is the Legend of Zelda oh, comic book. Yeah. Boy, I, I remember actually reading these and really enjoying them. On back, he got a game called Quirk. I don't, I don't remember that guy. No, it looks like a spot yeah. ripoff. Quirk, definitely cool. Now, <laughs> kids, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this. this next one. Avert your eyes because it's a little bit uh, risque. You have been warned. It's a lingerie edition of a comic book from Ali Baguette. Baguette, oh. <laughs> like the food. How do you say it? You say Baguette. Baguette. Well, I don't know which is better. Yeah, maybe it's better. Uh, Alley Cat. That's fun. Yeah. I can't open this one up very much. <laughs> no, I wouldn't open it. It, no. it gets pretty risky. There's no nudity, but it's it's Got risque. a reaction figure yeah. on the back. Maybe we can open it just just one. That's not too bad. Though. I don't think I've seen that. It's her with the kitty cat. That's all the further we're going to yeah. go. 
You filthy, filthy people. <laughs> Here, you take one of these. Oh, yeah. That, I like having this many copies of this. Oh, me too. Honestly. It's new Kids on the Block comic books. They, they made a whole bunch of these, too. Boom. These are both, uh, like, one-off ones. Um, where they wouldn't actually be in the sequence of the actual run. This oh. is New Kids on the Block, step by step. And Magic Summer Tour. And, man, wouldn't it have been sweet to join the fan club? <laughs> yeah. Man, and New Kids on the Block is one of those things that when I was a kid, you know, I was a, a boy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it were. was it was like ingrained. I don't remember a sex change. It was ingrained into the culture that guys weren't supposed to like New yeah. Kids on the Block. It was a girls thing. So I didn't like them back when I was a kid. But now it's aged just so, these, these guys have just aged so perfectly. Yeah. That it's like, I love all the New Kids on the Block stuff. But, but, I mean, everybody liked those songs. Hanging Tough and... The maybe, right stuff. Maybe you did. I was cool. I thought those were cool songs. Maybe, I feel like I feel like Joe or I bought a single. Probably Joe. Joe's the one who bought the music. Remember the Saturday morning cartoon? Yeah. No, they they were super catchy songs. Yeah. yeah. Man, there's a and there's still merch out there for new kids on the block. Oh yeah, man, it's all so fun them. too. Yeah. Yeah. It's really pillowcases and oh man, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And wasn't one of them like significantly older? It felt like yeah, that's you know? right. Man, yeah, new kids <laughs> on the block. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, well, thanks for joining us. I yeah. hope you enjoyed it. Let's re let's read some of these. Oh, let's do it. Like, comment, subscribe. And remember, too sweet. Two brothers in Nebraska. Pop culture is what they love. Join them as they talk about all of their cool stuff. Adventures in pop culture.